attention to a particular concept uh, that find in Buddhism, not only Buddhism but also uh, you find this concept even in Hinduism, Jainism, etc. That is about uh, the rebirth. Uh, the rebirth, actually, in Buddhism, we uh, we say that it is becoming uh, punabhava. Uh, uh, rebirth or becoming or reincarnation, of course, give the same sense. Uh, but philosophically, uh, the scholar says that if you talk about uh, rebirth, of course, it is connected with the concept of soul. But you know, in a common sense, we can use it. Uh, when we talk about the rebirth or reincarnation or becoming, uh, in Buddhism, this has been emphasized. Even Lord Buddha. Uh, the, the night, on night that he achieved his enlightenment, uh, he, in the first watch, uh, through his uh, retrocognitive uh, vision, he tried to see his own uh, existence, past existence. So he went to one, two, three, etc., up to thousand. Uh, past existences. So it shows that uh, even the Buddha, uh, he uh, tried to look at his past existence. Uh, that is, the Sutta is called uh, Satchaka Sutta. And also, um, uh, after his enlightenment, he uttered that Natdhani uh, Punabhau. He said that uh, hereafter there is no uh, rebirth. I try to seek uh, the uh, the builder. Then now I found the builder uh, who, of course, create this house. So finally, Buddha said that uh, now hereafter uh, the builder you cannot create this house. The house means this uh, the body. So and even in the, his first sermon, um, he mentioned in the, uh, the second truth. Pono bhavika nandi raga sahakata tatra tatra bhinandani. The cause of the suffering is uh, desire which cause repeated existence. Punabhava. So, in uh, simply speaking, we can say that Buddhist, Buddhism uh, really emphasize about rebirth. Now, when you come to the uh, the society, uh, the, there are so many people who won't believe this, but some people believe, but uh, majority won't believe because this concept is uh, uh, concept comes under metaphysics. You cannot uh, perceive uh, this uh, reality through your uh, senses. So it is beyond your uh, senses. So the person who have developed the mind, uh, they could say this through their third eye. But we can say that the, the rebirth or repeated existence is there in the world. Now, you do you know about uh, some uh, in, uh, some child, they have uh, uh, some abilities. We, we call them uh, prejudice. So they have some abilities. Some people, you know, at the age of uh, uh, four, five, they speak different language. Uh, you, you know, uh, it is not your mother tongue, but uh, speak a different language. That means uh, in the previous life, he uh, use this language and that influence of course uh, generate and also uh, shown in this very life. Sometime can you remember when we walk on the street or when you go to some houses, we find that this, these houses are so familiar. Some faces, some people are so familiar to us. 
you uh, directly you like to uh, uh, build up some friendship with those people and even in the the family you have you know uh, big attachment to a particular uh, member why do you have this sort of uh, uh, different difference attitude towards your family members when you go to your societies you have this uh, differences actually buddhism can of course give an answer to these things that is nothing but the 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 rebirth is the fact which of course uh, brings our uh, attitudes habits uh, through the ages through the existences now it is said that now when you talk about the enlightenment of lord buddha uh, as a bodhisattva the person who seek the buddhahood also uh, practice meditation and also perfections paramitas uh, thereby he achieved the buddhahood it is not a, a sudden achievement uh, B- B- buddha had to practice fulfill all those perfections uh, many many years thousand years a thousand existence thereby he get this uh, knowledge or vision so that means past experience is uh, very important in connection with the rebirth so it proves that we to have different abilities skills so those skills we uh, really uh, got from uh, from past existence not in with, within uh, this life sometime uh, you did not go to uh, te- techno- uh, technological uh, institute in order to study that um, uh, subject but you know by birth you could do it you could handle that uh, that subject how you got this it is your past experience that mean not in this life but in uh, past life so uh, when you talk about the rebirth actually the concept of karma karma uh, as you know the action or the deed and um, affection every action has a reaction that is the affection so if you if you do something in this very life you need to have a time to receive its own result effect so rebirth is there in order to uh, get it so we can say that the rebirth is there in our life if you try to analyze your own life and if you compare uh, your life with the other people you can find out easily that there is something uh, in the process uh, of our existence which of course carry all the the uh, all the factors we can we can say the, that is karmic factors or another word we can um, uh, use is habits of course uh, comes with us from one life to another life so uh, with this particular understanding of the rebirth what we have to do is we have to always do good things avoid bad things if you have any question clarification uh, the subject what i have talk now you can of course uh, send your questions to us uh, uh, under this email address and uh, we'll try to give you the answers or we can clarify uh, your doubts on this particular subject samma tv in 
ධර්මයේ දකින්න බොහෝ දිනාගේ හිත සුව පිණිස මේ ඔබේ කල්යාණ මිත්‍රයන් අතරේ ෂෙයා කරන්න